So everyone's been talking a lot about idea pins on Pinterest and it's great to learn how to utilize idea pins and get people to click on them. But when people click from your idea pin onto your profile, how are you going to make them stay? How are you going to get them to follow? Now for me personally, I've never followed someone just for idea pins. I always go over and look at their boards. If it's messy, it's kind of chaotic. They have like 100 boards with like one pin in each. It's not very thought out and it's just not like my vibe, my aesthetic, I don't follow. So having good boards is very, very important. So if you need some ideas, this video is for you. This is over 70 ideas for your Pinterest boards. Starting with fashion and style. So the first idea is to name a board something very niche and specific. So for example, how would you describe your aesthetic? It's probably not just cottage core or dark academia. It's probably something like femme fatale with a hint of rock and roll. You know, something like that. Name it something kind of specific. It will get people's attention and they'll be very interested. For example, I actually follow this board called Style or Die. When I saw that, I was like, I have to click it. <laughs> I clicked on it and it was a very bold sense of style and I'm like, I love this, immediately followed. So having a kind of unique title like that is a good way for people to look at your board. You can also make a Pinterest board about your body type. For example, you could do Kibby body types. You could do one for the means. You can make a whole fashion board surrounded by one item that you are absolutely obsessed with. So for example, you could do a whole board about red shoes. So your whole board could be filled with red shoes and outfits you would wear with red shoes. The next idea is to choose fashion aesthetics that are a little bit smaller. So for example, instead of doing dark academia outfits, you could do chaotic academia outfits. You could also name a board outfits that remind me of blank and you could fill this in with your favorite. You could fill this in with a movie, TV show, book, place, decade. So you could do outfits that remind me of a coming of age movie or outfits that remind me of a Hosier song. If you're into anti-fashion, you can make an anti-fashion board. You can also make boards about career outfits. So for example, you could do art teacher outfits, influencer outfits, small coffee shop barista outfits, waitress outfits, or maybe you're a college student. You could do something like Harvard student outfits, online college outfits, med school outfits, art school outfits, um, psychology student outfits. The next section is photography. And again, like you can name your board just photography if you'd like to, but if you want to make people a little bit more interested, it's nice to name it something a bit more specific. So for example, Midwest Gothic, neon light photography, or like movie still inspiration. You could do a photo shoot board and you can do something that's trending. So back in October, the ghost photo shoot was trending. So that would have been a good time. Make a ghost photo shoot board. You could do a Halloween photo shoot. You could do space cowgirl photo shoot. And you can also do a photography tips board. For health and fitness, you can do healthy food inspo. And don't do the ones where it's like very obviously the blog post. You have like the picture and then all the text all over it. It's just not cute. Do like aesthetic foods, but healthy. Take that same idea, but also do it for another board called cheat day. And then you can also do a fitness inspiration board, but to make it a little bit different, try to just pin videos. The next section is going to be anything that you sell. Now you probably don't sell much unless you're a business owner. You can make a board for all of your blog posts if you're a blogger. If you're on YouTube, here's a few ideas for you. You can take aesthetic screenshots of your YouTube video to make almost like a cinematic movie still and add captions to it. You can make a board for all of your thumbnails and you can make a board for all of your YouTube shorts. And make sure with all of these two, you include the link so when people click it, they can go to your YouTube video or blog post. Same thing with Instagram. Make sure you're linking. Put some ideas for Instagram if you're really active over there is to do a inspiration board for Instagram highlights. You can make a board dedicated to your posts or a board dedicated to your stories. For TikTok, you can make a board dedicated to your TikToks. If you are a writer or a poet, make a board full of aesthetic quotes that are your own. And if you make anything and sell it, for example, let's say you make jewelry and you sell it on Depop, go ahead and make a whole board dedicated to that. So one thing that people love is boards about aesthetics. So you can definitely do a really mainstream one like cottage core, dark academia, but I would recommend doing something that's a little bit smaller. So here's some examples for you. You could do suburban Gothic, ballet academia. You could do your name core. So I would do Olivia core and I would try to 
think of what I would be like as an aesthetic. That could be fun if you have kind of like a common name. You could do candy core, days core, fairy academia, electro swing, steampunk, fantasy astronomy, and mushroom core. So like those 10 titles will make your board immediately much more clickable, much more interesting. The next idea I had was to make a board about the feeling of something. This is kind of hard to explain, but let me try. So one idea is to do a board all about lazy days. I have a board about this and I don't just pin people sleeping or like sitting down or being lazy. I think of like, a lazy Sunday morning and what that felt like to me like as a kid. Try to encapsulate the feeling of it as best you can. So a good way to go is to start with the five senses. Okay, another example is to do a travel board of places you want to travel to. You could also do a wonderless board. So a lot of people that are going to be pinning the stock photos of Greece and pictures of airplanes or something. I want you to try to pin things that feel like Wonderlust. So for example, I named my board, I want a life of adventure. So I tried to pin things that felt like an adventure to me. Don't just pin these basic travel photos. Um, another idea is rainy days. Don't just do photos of rain. What do rainy days consist of? It consists of candles and books and snuggling up on the couch with your cat. You could also do like a concept of something. So you could do interning in New York City or you could do living on my own for the first time. You could also do stuff like POV, you're a fashion designer or POV, you're a college student. And the last 20 ideas are a little bit random, but you can do a personality type board. You could do Myers-Briggs, Enneagram. You can make a board dedicated to your favorite author. So if your favorite author was Lemony Snicket, make a whole board about him, his quotes, the characters he wrote. Uh, you could also do your favorite book series. So if your favorite book series was Series of Unfortunate Events, make a whole board dedicated to that. Your favorite artist, your favorite musician, or you could even do your favorite fashion designer. You could also try to make a group board if you have um, a little bit of a bigger following. This is also a good way to get followers because a lot of people are looking to join group boards. You can make a board dedicated to aesthetic gift ideas and make a board about any unique sort of hobby you have. For example, I'm getting into like map making. So I just made a board about some maps that give me inspiration. You can make a board about your dream job or your dream house. You could make a board about a holiday, but like with a twist. So for example, you could do Valentine's Day alone, a tacky Christmas or Friendsgiving. You can also make a board dedicated to college or career tips. So for example, if you're a college student, you could do law school study tips or online school study tips. If you're a makeup artist, you can make a board dedicated for tips for makeup artists. And you can make a board about romanticizing your life. All right, that is all the ideas I have for you. If you want any more Pinterest content, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.